Hello there, Philippa, Martin, myself, and all you Techno Games fans. I'm here today at the Magna Science Adventure Center in Rotherham in Yorkshire to show you some of my own work that I've been carrying out over the last year here. My interest here at Magna is both to conduct scientific research and to entertain the public. And I wanted to get a really exciting robot show, much like Techno Games itself is. But I also wanted to do the science, which is modeling animal behavior. Not the shape of the robots, but their actual behavior. And what I've got here is a predator and prey, like you see in the wild. Now, the little prey here, they feed under light trees using these solar panels. And um, the predators, they hunt them down. They're a bit nastier. They hunt them down, stick a fang into their center, and then suck out their battery power. Now, what we're really interested in here, scientifically, is to look for stable points in evolution. That's points where there's a balance, so that there's not too many prey being eaten and going extinct, and not too many predators not catching the prey and going extinct. So, that's what should happen here, but it's scientific research, and hey, who knows what's going to happen there. So here we are with my metal family, then. Now, we've applied very simple principles here. We use a standard modern AI philosophy called keep it simple and stupid, the KISS philosophy. Now we haven't put a lot of effort into the mechanical aspects of these. These are driven by motors that came out of portable drills, which would be good for you techno games buffs to hear. And these ones the same. Now if we look at the prey first, these solar panels aren't just for soaking up power. What they do is they're sensors, so there are four sensors here. And that's because when it finds a light, what does it do with it? Well, it has to ease its way into the center of the light and find the, the hottest point, the brightest point, so that it can feed itself. Now, to find the light, to begin with, it uses these sensors. And you see there are eight of them all the way around. And these are infrared sensors. And the clever bit is the sensors are used for infrared sniffing. So this prey can tell whether the other robot in front of it is a predator, so it can flip out of the way and escape. Now the predator here, more complex beast, it's got infrared sensors around the front and around the sides, again for avoiding obstacles. And it can tell what the other predators are because they're pretty tough and it doesn't want to get into a fight with those. But if it sniffs a little prey here, it'll go after it like crazy and pick it up. Now the pickup mechanism itself is run with the second hand windscreen wiper motor. And the shape here is very important. It's a round shape so that the prey can fit in very neatly. So it lifts up the prey and sinks this fang right into the center. Now you've seen what my robots can do, and you've heard a bit about the science. That's all from me now. I hope you enjoyed it, Philippa and Martin, and of course myself.